America. He's been in countries in Africa. And I was chance to meet him uh, through a brother of mine who is a minister, a Nigerian re resident in Dublin, Ireland. He is here because he loves Nigeria because he loves God because he loves you his name his father gave him a name Paul but today because he loves you and I he has adopted a name which he now uses globally as a missionary and that name is Omawale Paul Miller Oshay Baba. Come on, I said Oshay Baba. God is good. And I'm glad to be here with you today. I am so blessed to have met so many mighty men and women of God. It's a beautiful day, hallelujah. Today, this morning, I opened two gifts. God gave me two gifts to open. And he gave you two gifts to open. And they were our eyes. We opened our eyes this morning. We opened our ears that we should be thankful that we're able to come here tonight. We should be grateful to God that we were able to walk up this mountain. Many people wish that they could be here today. But they were unable. So we are blessed to be here today. It's a great honor to meet Baba. He's a wonderful man of God. I want to be around people who love God. I want to be around people who are going somewhere. People who are moving forward. And I believe I'm amongst people here tonight who want to go forward. Who want to go upwards. As if I lost, okay. So hallelujah, let's give God a praise. Hallelujah. There's a song. Now, you have a wonderful worship. I really enjoyed your worship, my sister. And all the worshipers here today. Now, I can't sing. Me only Connie. And I can't dance. But there, there is a song that I sing in Ireland. And a song I sing in Germany and Austria. And I have sung this song in many different countries. So I'm going to ask the choir to help me today. I think you might know this song. But I'm not very good, so you're going to have to give me grace today. You have to give me mercy, hallelujah. hallelujah. And this song goes like this. Only I love you. Ba, 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 ba. Oh, she, oh, ba, ba. Oh, she, oh, ba, ba. One, two, pay, ba, ba. Come on, some. Ba, ba. Come on, lift up your voice. Say it to the Father. Come on, say thank you, Father. Father. Say, oh, Papa. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Lift up your hands and say thank you. Oh, say, Baba. Sing O'Shea Baba, hallelujah. Come on back there, lift up your hands. Baba, we say thank you. We say thank you, Jesu. 
Oshé Jesu, Oshé Baba. Thank you, Jesus. Thank we give you, you praise today. We bless your name, God. We thank you, Father, for what you're doing here today. That God is going to do something great here today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. When Baba asked me to come here, there was no hesitation in me. And I want to be a man that keeps my word. And when I say I'll go somewhere, I'll do it. And, and Baba, I could never say no to you. Because, because of who you are with God. You're, you're a man of honor. And I also want to thank my brother, Pastor Tunde. Hallelujah. Another mighty man. We are thankful today that we can walk up this mountain. It says in Moses' time, when he led the people out of Israel, when they got to the mountain, the people says, no Moses, you go up and speak to God for us. The people, the Israelites didn't want to go up the mountain. But I thank God I'm with people tonight who want to go up the mountain. Hallelujah. We, we can go up the mountain and seek God. Hallelujah. And I pray that God will give you a mountain top experience. What God did on Mount Horeb and Mount Sinai, I pray that God will speak to you on this mountain. And I, and I pray that you leave this mountain satisfied. That whatever you came looking for, whatever you came searching for, that you will find it. That you will find the answer on this mountain. That God will do something great in your life. That God will do something new in your life. That God will do something wonderful in your life. That God will do something suddenly in your life. And I pray before this year ends. Hallelujah. That God will surprise you in Jesus' name. And I pray that you will have a testimony. Hallelujah. Because your testimony is powerful. Do you see all these flies flying around here? The, the, they are going crazy because of these lights. You see, when we begin to praise God, it drives the enemy crazy. The demons cannot stand when we start to praise God. The, en the enemy will not be able to stand in your life when we come together and praise God. Hallelujah. And I command the enemy to go in Jesus' name. And I command every seed of doubt. I cancel every seed of doubt that you may have in your heart tonight. That may stop you from getting your miracle. And any seed that will stop you from getting your healing here tonight. Anything the enemy may speak into your mind to stop you from getting your breakthrough. I, and I take authority over any evil spirit here tonight. And I break its power over us tonight. That it cannot stay here. 
because of the power of God that's here tonight and I declare that the anointing of God if I'm here, you see what will I'm break there. any yoke off us tonight hallelujah in Jesus name because God says he has given us power over all the power of the enemy and nothing by any means shall harm us hallelujah 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 we give you praise God we bless your name God you will have a testimony you know in, in Jeremiah said this I, I remember watching this in the, in the Bible Jeremiah says I will not mention of his name anymore but, Jer- but Jeremiah said this but there is a fire shut up inside my bones Jeremiah we pray Jeremiah had to testify he couldn't close his mouth even if Jeremiah tried to stop praising God he couldn't even if Jeremiah tried to shut his mouth the word of God will come out of him because the word of God is powerful you cannot stop it it cannot be stopped the word of God that is inside of us is powerful hallelujah and one word tonight can change your life one word tonight of God's word can change your life Paul the apostle said woe to me if I do not preach the gospel woe to me if I do not preach the gospel Paul was summoned by God to preach the word of God you see because when God gives you a testimony, you have to testify. When Jesus Christ cast out the demon out of the demon possessed man, the man wanted to stay with Jesus. But Jesus said to him, No, go back. To that great city and tell the great things that the Lord had done for you. You will have a testimony that will tell of the great things that God will do in your life. Hallelujah. When Jesus went to the Samaritan woman by the well. The woman went back to her town to testify. And all of the people came to Jesus. And because of her testimony, the whole town got saved. Hallelujah. The whole city got saved. Hallelujah. Your testimony is powerful. I said your testimony is powerful and I pray that God will meet every need that you have the reason why I love Nigeria you see many people want to go to America they want to go to Canada they want to go to Europe but what you have here you won't have in America let me tell you you see people don't understand why I want to come to Nigeria because I want to be around people who, who stay up at night time praising God people who are not ashamed to lift up the name of Jesus because people in Nigeria have faith hallelujah you, you have faith you have faith and that's what pleases God and because of your faith 
God promises to work all things out in our life. Hallelujah. Tomorrow night I, I will I look forward to sharing the word of God with you. But I want to encourage you tonight. God will do something for you. Because I, I need God to do something for me. And I believe we are in the right place at the right time that this is the time to be here. Go get your friends. Call them up. Bring them here because God will do something for them. I have seen God do amazing things. I have seen God do testimonies all over the world. And brothers and sisters, I want to tell you something here tonight. It is not your degree. It is not your education. It is not your It is not your degree. It is the word of God that will open up the nations to you. It is not your good looks. It is not your nice clothes. It is not your great name. It is this word has become my passport. This, this word is what has opened up doors all over the world for me. This word. And this word will open up every door to you in Jesus name. You see, it takes someone who is international to give you an international blessing. It takes someone If you want a blessing for marriage, you need to get a blessing from someone who's married for 20, 30, 40 years. If you want a blessing of wealth, it is better to come from someone who is wealthy. Do you understand what I'm trying to say to you? If you need an international blessing, you need someone international to bless you. So I pray in the name of Jesus that God will open up every door to you internationally. And I want to let some of you know here tonight you need to start learning German. Start learning German. Okay, hello, boy, the Germany. Some of you want to go to America. Listen, Germany, Austria, Switzerland. These are countries you need to go to. Bogoyi, Velocity, America, Suba, Germany, Austria. Especially Switzerland. Switzerland, I worry, lady, to your Kailoni. So I want you to reposition your thinking. Moveko, Yero, Rekada. America is not the place you have to run to. America, he said, I lived in America for 14 years. God led me to New York to evangelize New York two days before those towers came down. I was sharing this gospel to those that worked in Wall Street. Those that had suits worth two, three thousand dollars. But two days later, those towers came down. I was there for that. There is just as much poor people in America than there is anywhere else. They want to show you the bright lights in the big buildings. But let me tell you, I had to feed more poor people in America than any other country. But they don't, they don't show you this. They don't show you people trying to eat out of the garbage can. I don't see nobody in Nigeria eating at the garbage can. This is a blessed country, hallelujah. 
That's why I love my name, Omo Wale. Hallelujah. Because I'm waiting for, I'm waiting for my passport. I declare that I'll get the Nigerian passport will come to me in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I've, I've taken my time, so I want to thank you. And I thank you for having me here in Nigeria. And I pray that God will do something new for you. That God will anoint you even more. And God will increase you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. The Lord bless you. Nigeria is great.